Costa Rica, day one. I've arrived okay, but my bag hasn't. I'm standing here waiting around for someone to help me. No one at the Air Canada gate whatsoever. I mean, I understand mistakes happen. I really do. There's no one to speak to whatsoever. There's no one who's making any effort to help as I stand there and try to figure the situation out. After over 11 hours on two flights today. Showed up. Okay, how can I help you? I was just making a little video about Air Canada. Sir, uh, I have a travel channel. Don't try I was, to I was film telling it them all about because it. my image is private. If you want, I, I will be more than glad to assist you. No filming because my image is private. So, this guy I spoke to, Mr. Mendez, he turned out to be a good guy. I respected his wishes not to be in the video, but I do want to share a bit of the audio from the conversation we had. I think you're going to want to hear this. Now I focus on bringing this back to you and I send it to you. But when I'm telling the story of what happened today, because I make travel videos for a living, that's why I'm in Costa Rica today. Mm -hmm. So when I'm telling the horrible experience I had with Air Canada today, is this a fault of Mr. Mendez or is this a fault of Air Canada being short staffed today? Because it doesn't seem like you have a lot of flights. It seems like there was one flight and there were hundreds of us and there were two of us and we waited for one hour with these poor guys who could barely speak a word of English and I couldn't properly explain what was happening, just kept saying, wait five minutes, wait five minutes. While my dad is on the other side, I have no way to communicate with my dad. I hurry up, wondering, do I stay, do I go? I've been on two flights, 11 hours of transit today. You were right, you were right. You were right, I mean, anything that you think and you say, you're right. What can I tell you more than that? I mean, uh, we, we need uh, to be audited sooner. I hope uh, that people from Canada they come and give us another to us because I think we are a few personnel. We need to fix a lot of things. I work for this company. I love Air Canada, but I know there are things that we need to fix. And you are right with the things that you said. I completely uh, agree with you. Uh, believe me, uh, there are things that I cannot fix with Air Canada. I hope uh, they will be fixed sometime. I hope, uh, in the future. Have a good day, sir. I'm going to text you the, uh, the address, okay? Yes, please. Yes, please. So that's it. That's my video about Air Canada losing my backpack. I hope it's clear that I have no problem with Mr. Mendez. He seemed like a nice guy who was just doing the best he could to solve the situation. As for you, Air Canada, I got a big problem with you guys. Because Air Canada, you don't represent the best part about Canada. You represent the worst part about corporations. The fact that, you know, we're just a number on a spreadsheet to you. You don't give a damn how long someone's been traveling. You don't give a damn what problems they have to be solved. You just care about your bottom line. And I've seen that so many times from Air Canada. I saw it in the fact that I had two five-hour flights and neither of them came with any food. Uh, you guys just... It's all a numbers game. And that isn't very Canadian. So if you guys dislike Air Canada as much as I do, I encourage you to share this video. Get that message out there. Not to say that what happened to me waiting around an hour and a half is the worst thing that could ever happen. But I know that for every time it happens to me, it happens a million times to someone who doesn't have a YouTube channel, who doesn't have a platform to share this message. And that's why I'm sharing this with you today because it's important for people to get this message heard. Because it, it's, social media apparently is the only thing that companies give a damn about, right? So if you wanna put some pressure on Air Canada and maybe get some help for someone like Mr. Mendez down in Costa Rica, uh, I encourage you to share this video and let's try to get something done. So that's the end of my little rant. Next time you see me in Costa Rica, I promise I will be out of the airport and with any luck, I will have my backpack. As always, I'm Dan from The New Travel. Catch you next time.
Ich hab's mir nie.